Well, first of all, this past week, we had, I don't know if we were able to get the video, but everyone that got baptized um, this past week, come on up. Come on up. It was Calvin, it was Claude, it was Ariel, and uh, J Joey. Uh, Joelle's not here. I think they had to travel to Miami. Amen. We, I know we gave you some things, amen, but we wanted to give you a Legacy Life uh, certificate. They came out, uh, and, and uh, they decided, they were like, we want to get baptized. So uh, we, you know, we said, okay, come on, we'll take you to my, you know, we have a pool, so we're like, we're going to just take you, take you to the pool. Amen. And it was cold, I know. And I want to thank uh, Elder Noah, Elder Tom. Uh, somebody go get Kelvin and uh, Elder uh, and Prophet uh, Julian who assisted. No, that's the baby. Kelvin's the drummer. That's, that's where? Oh, I, you better wake that boy up. Anyway, so but they they came out and they 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 did an outward com show of an inward commitment. Amen. So we want to celebrate them today. Amen. And just continue to speak God's blessings over them. All right. You can go ahead and have your seat. Oh, you want to stay up? That's okay. Let them sit down. They can they get the exercise. Now we're going, we want to uh, call the, the guys that, that participated in the, the uh, manifesting your inner healing. All right. So we're going to call. Here you go. Okay. So if you were a part of the encounter this this uh, week on Friday and Saturday, we're going to ask you to just come up to the front and just line up along here. We had an awesome time this weekend. Um, I mean, the Lord just showed up in so many ways. I know I was touched. I was changed. Uh, this was an encounter or a retreat where we went to a life enrichment center that's located just uh, right there in the Leesburg area. And um, we had no televisions or anything like that in our rooms. We just had... This was just a time for us to get to go to the wilderness and to begin to spend time in the presence of God. And so that's what we did. Amen. The all of these people that you see here were um, a part of the encounter. And so we're going to present them with certificates for completing this. And then we're going to have them to actually pray for you. Because they have the anointing of the Lord on their life. They have been touched. I'm just going to ask whoever can just give us a very quick testimony. Um, okay. This, this is the third or fourth one I've been to. I don't know. What I asked for, what I was asking God for, is I wanted to be, and I still want, to be more intimate with him and his presence. And as a result, that started almost immediately, even before I, I would be able to get the words out. This is real. And I thank God that, that I agreed to participate in it. It was awesome. Amen. Amen. Over here. Amen. It was just really, really a powerful time. It really did exceed my expectations. Uh, so for any of you who, like Bill, make the statement, I've gone three or four times, I don't care. It was not like the last one. It was triple what the last one was. And I know because I've been to a few of them. So, I mean, it was just amazing. The Lord showed up in such a weightiness. And then the words that came forth were powerful. The teaching was absolutely over the top. So the next one that they uh, put on, I, I would admonish you or I would uh, just share with you go to it if you truly are looking for something higher than where you are. 
Check out, do a, a personal inventory of yourself. I don't, unless you're perfect and you can walk on water, I'm telling you, you will benefit from this. Amen? Amen. Amen, Ariel. I had a good time at the encounter. Um, I got to have an intimate one-on-one -on -one with the Lord, and it really opened my eyes. Give God praise. Thank you. I just, one of the things I w wanted was an impartation, a fresh impartation, because I've always wanted to do this for the nations, and I believe I received the impartation to bring this to um, other people and other cultures and other generations. So I received that. Amen. Praise God. Just the newness. Just um, even being able to be a part of it and realizing that, just as Elder Blanche said, you know, there's always something that can be taken off and something that can be imparted. And just as Elder Noah said, it got to go to the nations. <laughs> it really has to, because that's what he wants, is to manifest his sons of God and for everyone to be whole and not to have holes in us any longer, but to be whole. And just to be able to minister in this encounter without fear was a big thing for me. It really ministered to me this weekend. There were things that I didn't really know, but then during this encounter, the Lord brought it up and revealed it, and I got healed from it. But the thing that I've seen with this is there's a lot of things that we go through that we're unaware what's holding us back. It's like a, like a hidden thing that holds us back in our walk to a certain degree. And we'll walk around, we won't even know it's there, but it's there. But only when you go to these encounters that you could draw that out. Yes. You know, even if you come to church for a deliverance, there's still those hidden things in your subconscious and a deeper part of it that you don't, you're unaware of it. But once God draws it out and reveals it, what he reveals, he heals, and then you're set free. And then you're walking in the freedom of God, and you feel so much lighter. So, like I said, I encourage you, next time we have one, make every effort to come out. I mean, you know, you spend money for vacations, you allow time to do this and this, but this is the main thing, the most important thing. God bless you. I had been crying out to the Lord uh, that those things that are keeping me back and holding me down uh, from really actually loving God, that I wanted to become more, more that, that needed to become more evident in my life. And I had been through several of uh, these encounters, uh, counseling situations, and I went there with the, the, the knowing of in honoring these, these, these two that, that said, we're going to do this as a, as a church. And I became closer with those that were there. And God revealed to me his presence was so rich. And, so, and he revealed and opened up the capacity and showed me things that I needed to continue to address that I thought I had addressed down the road. But there was still lying dormant, and the enemy was using it against me. Therefore, if he's using it against me, he's using it against you through me. So I don't want that ever to happen again. you know. And I won't be perfect, but I'm on, on the road uh, to victory. It was a pivotal point in my life. Um, everyone, everyone goes through something. It was like a counseling session on steroids, where, there were, where the Holy Spirit was involved. And, and from childhood to, to where you are now, you go through things at work, you get offended, you get angry, you get hurt, you go through trauma, you get sick. And so therefore, you're not your best self. You're not in your complete well-being. So to do that, we have to go through deliverance. We have to go through that healing. We have to have the Lord, the Holy Spirit to help us to go through that so that we can minister to others. We can be that example of being set free from depression, from suicide, from anything that's battling in your mind. That mind <laughs> needs a refreshing, needs that word on it so that true change can happen. True change, that, that repentance where you turn totally away 
you turn, you're totally away from that thing that's holding you bound, holding you captive. There is freedom, and I received it this weekend. Um, like, like they said, um, we sometimes go through stuff that we don't even remember, or when you're, or when you're a child, right? And sometimes you, you could think that I've been healed for that, but there's some stuff that is a process, you know, uh, little by little, the, the Lord is like that, like um, layers, yeah, layers. He's going to keep taking layers out of you. So this was awesome for me because it's another preparation for going to Brazil. So praise God for what he has done. Amen. Amen. Um, my one expectation, even though there are more, more, but the one that I verbalized at the beginning was that I will come to another level of freedom in the Lord. Um, and in that, in the this past weekend, I did just that. Um, even just to hear, um, the Bible tells us that we overcome by the blood of the, the lamb and the word of our testimony. And just to hear the testimony of where God has brought uh, many of us from to where we were even at that point before we went through another layer of, of, of healing, a layer of forgiveness, a layer of forgiving ourselves, forgiving those who have hurt us to, so that we may be forgiven. Um, in order to move forward in the things of God. Um, so, yes, it, it was an overcoming. It was freedom, but yet still there was um, a level of overcoming. But yet still to take away from it, not just the healing that we went through, but the healing that we can continue to go through. Because regardless, tomorrow we may walk out the door, or right now we may be offended by someone. Where before we wouldn't know how to release that forgiveness, to release that person and to ask that person for forgiveness and to go to that person or to that brother or that sister or that mother or that child and say, you've hurt me. But now we're able to work past that and not let that filter and um, hold us back from the things of God. So not only did we, it was, it's a progressive. Our relationship with God is progressive. And yes, we received it. And we're going to keep on receiving it day by day. Amen. So my thing, I, I, I encourage everyone that, that went through it, um, to what we've received during that time, to continue to give it, to continue to receive it, and, um, and so that we can continue to move on in the things of God for the kingdom of God's sake. Because when it was all said and done, it wasn't about us. It wasn't about the, um, the, the pain that we've gone through. It wasn't about um, those things, but it's about how we can bring the next person out. Praise God. It was an awesome, awesome weekend for me. I truly thank God for it because I got delivered from some things and, you know, things that were deep down the hurt and the pain and, you know, some of the things I went through in the past, some of the things I forgot about, you know, um, the Lord opened up my eyes and showed me that, you know, you haven't dealt with this yet, you know, and I was able to get that release. There were things I didn't even want to remember didn't even want to touch on. And, you know, I was able to deal with that, you know, and just give it to God. And, you know, I got freedom now, you know. I mean, I went to the Life Enrichment Center, you know, Life Enrichment Church, and I, I, my life had been enriched, you know. And I just praise God for that. It was just awesome, awesome. I'll never, ever, ever be the same. And I thank God for it because I can use this every day. You know, everything that I go through in my life, I can still use. I'm still processing it. I got to go home and just type it up and, you know, things that um, I could remember and just write everything up and just continue on using this in my everyday life because there's always going to be somebody that's going to hurt you. Always. I don't care who it is. Somebody's going to hurt you everywhere you go. There's going to be something that's going to go on and you don't like it. You know, you're going to be offended by it. So I just praise God that I'll be able to use that information that I got and continue using it in my everyday life, every day. Praise God. <laughs> For me, it just represented a, a sanctuary, a place that I could just go and hear from the Lord and just let him um, just continue to uh, remove the layers, as we were saying, and just... Um, be able to bear more fruit, be able to be more like him, be able to bear more of his image. And um, it was just, for me, it was just a place of sanctuary, relaxation, and just peace, and just being able to be where he was. Um, that's what it represented for me. 
So the name of the uh, retreat, why we went there was to manifest our inner healing. And Jesus Christ is our healer. And he not only heals physically, but spiritually and emotionally as well. And many of our physical uh, sicknesses are tied to what's going on inside. We need to be healed in, in, inside of us first. So it was very powerful, very powerful, powerful for me. Some of us realize that we have an ungodly soul tie with coffee, and we need to be delivered. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but... <laughs> But anyway, you know, God showed me that I had some stinking thinking. I have some ungodly beliefs, and that with the word of God, they can be torn down. Amen? Amen. I went because I knew I needed inner healing, and I got a lot of it while I was there. Uh, the Lord, we were starting to pray. We teamed off, and we were starting to pray about something. And just out of my mouth came something I wasn't even thinking of. But yet that one thing that came out of my mouth was the very thing that has hindered me my whole life. And it started all the way back with how I was treated. Not mistreated, but if I wanted affection from my parents, I had to give it first. And then when I went to hug them, they'd hug me back. And I didn't realize that I was so hungry to be loved. And it was all through my life it's happened that way. And God healed me. And I'm just so thankful that I went. Well, um, I'm, I'm one of the old folks here. And I can tell you that you are new again. And each layer keeps peeling off so... There's always, no matter how young you are, there's layers that need to be peeled, and no matter how old you are. And this is the, this is the means of letting it happen so that we can grow closer to God and closer to each other because we put up the walls between each other because of things that maybe happened in the past, and that's what we want to get healed from and released from. Um, I went to the encounter um, just expecting God to show up um, and to meet me there, and he did just that. Um, there were some things that were just deeply hidden, wounds that had scabbed over but hadn't actually healed um, that I didn't know were still there, and he revealed those, and I can tell you that I came back changed. I'm not the same person that went Friday night to the encounter and... Um, God just revealed some, some things, and I was able to draw closer to my sisters that I got to share a room with and those that I didn't and um, get to know um, everybody a little bit more intimately. Amen. Um, for me, manifesting your inner healing, you know, um, I really thank God for God himself. Because he can change your life in the blinking of an eye. I can remember uh, almost a month ago, and I just want to say this real quick. I was supposed to go to Miami and uh, do a drug deal. And um, I found out that the people that went to go do the drug deal, I was supposed to go do it with them. They got killed. <clears throat> um, I really do thank God for both of my pastors. You know, Because when I first started out, I was like, God, you don't care about me. But he's showing me that he gave me a new family. With Legacy Life, two pastors that love me, because they be on me. They like my parents. And I love them very dearly. I love you guys. And I really thank God for my fiance, you know. Thank God for her. One of the sisters uh, said something that really, really touched my heart. And she was saying, like, we're like an onion, peeling back the layers. And I was like, God, I'm a huge onion. I'm bigger than this world. But, you know, I really thank God because he's peeling back some things and I'm letting go and I'm having more of a willing spirit, more of a willing heart. And for me, this is the first time I have ever experienced anything in my life. As I we was going to Leesburg, I was, you know, the devil, you know, he messes with you and, yeah, you don't know what to expect. And, and I had to tell him, shut up. Just shut up. Yeah. Just be quiet. 
don't talk to me no more anyway. So, but when, as, as we was going through the classes, God was dealing with me with some things, and he was peeling back some layers. I was like, wait a minute, I'm feeling good, I'm liking this. So now I want to go to the, I can't wait to the next one. God bless. Amen. And how long have you been with us, Claude? Have you been here 30 days? You only been here really less than 30 days. And yeah, he says he's a premium. But he, he, he stepped all in. He came in and he calls me all the time. It's like accountability. And he and he shares and I say, dude, we'll do it together. We'll do it together. We'll work through this together. Amen. And so what we're going to do quickly, I want to recognize the ones that uh, were. Did I give you things already? No. Oh, no. This is what I'm looking for. What? All righty. Anyway, I want to recognize uh, Joy, Tom, you guys just step forward. Um, Elder Blanche, Elder Noah. What did your thing say? Because you should. I got, oh, <laughs> thank you. I knew I had them somewhere. <laughs> these are also, these are the ones that help. We gave them a uh, certificate of appreciation, thank you, for uh, participating of ministry in it. And so these were the ones that, that, that helped with the teaching and help ministering. And so we wanted to recognize each and every one, say we love you, we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we got some inner healing uh, be, uh, as well. I had to repent because I gave them stuff the last minute. But then they came to me after I told, shared some things, and they were like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see why. But anyway, the, the thing is, it's for all of us. Amen. And we love each and every one. So what we're going to do very quickly, and we're going to dismiss, I'm going to ask uh, if you guys can just... Um, just, just, what's, okay, you go ahead. Okay, so what we're going to do, if, if you would like prayer this morning, we're just going to allow you to go through what we call a fire tunnel. <laughs> just go walk through the fire tunnel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get half of you, like from this over here, just come and stand on this side. Yeah. Just you're going to face, yeah, there you go. And so those who would like prayer, I'm going to ask you, just come over on this side, and we're just going to let you go through the tunnel, and they're just going to lay hands on you. Amen? Amen? And so we're going to do that, and, and then we're going to close. Okay. All right, so we're going to open it up and let you just go through. You can just walk through, and they can just lay hands on you. Because the anointing that they experience, I'm telling you, it's going to touch your life. It's going to touch your life. It's going to, it's going to set you free in some areas. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Don't count this lightly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So blessed.
And we just speak blessings over everyone here today. We say that you're blessed in your marriages. You're blessed in your singleness until you get married. Amen. (laughs) You're blessed on your jobs. You're blessed in your finances. You're blessed in your businesses. We declare that over you. We say that you are blessed, blessed, blessed to be a blessing. So go forth and live the legacy life.